Hi, Jose. Uh, Murray, the teacher again. How are you? Uh, long time no see. I think I spoke to you or I made a video for you yesterday, perhaps. You're turning in so many things. Uh, this is unit two. Yvonne and Stefan make a new agreement. I just wanted to show you one little thing about this. You did this last night at 1030. You're working hard, man. Okay. Um, these are generally very good. I, I just looked at it briefly, but they're generally very good. Uh, what kind of agreement? Okay. One thing to keep in mind here, they're asking you to answer these questions and I'm going to make a line under this for you. Uh, they're asking you to answer these questions. Oh, there is, is there a highlighter? Let me see here. I'm getting excited. Um, let me see, is it select? No, that's not it. Well, I'm blowing it here. Okay, forget it. Uh, they're asking you to do this, um, to answer these questions with complete sentences with complete sentences and again complete sentences usually means a subject and what they call a predicate and a, a predicate is a verb and other stuff so and as we know in english every sentence every complete sentence needs a subject so uh what kind of agreement did stefan and Yvonne make the first time and this is asked in the past tense. So the answer is what kind? And your answer is right. It's just that the information is correct, that we're just trying to teach you to write complete sentences, get more practice in complete sentences, because that's the essence, the, the root of uh, writing in English. So uh, again, they made an oral agreement. They made an oral agreement. So you said an oral agreement. I just made, I just put in a subject and a verb. They made an oral agreement. Did Stefan honor the original agreement with Yvonne? And the answer is no, he didn't. And that is correct. The only thing that's wrong about that is you need to capitalize the first letter of a sentence. No, he didn't. Everything else is correct. Uh, what kind of agreement does Yvonne want from Stefan? And you, again, he, uh, and this is what kind of agreement? This is does, that's in the present tense. So what kind of agreement does Yvonne want from Stefan? He wants a written agreement. Again, just to make it into a complete sentence, he wants a written agreement. Notice this one, because the question is asked in the present he, the answer is he wants. This one is asked in the past, what kind of agreement did Stiff? Okay. And they made, this is in the past, they made an, an oral agreement. Uh, what is Ivan doing when Stefan comes in? Perfect. He is fixing the toaster. A point, in fact, here, you answered that in the present continuous, which is how it was asked, which is very good. Thank you. Uh, do Yvonne and Stefan shake hands? Yes, they do. I, 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 that looks like a typo to me. A typo means you hit the wrong key. So uh, rather than a comma, you put, that's called an apostrophe at the top. It's called an apostrophe, apostrophe. Yeah, that's called what you have is called an apostrophe, and you want a comma, which I think, and a comma is this at the bottom, which I'm sure you know. So the answer is yes, capitalized, yes, they do. Looks like you might be working on a phone or a tablet. It's really hard to do it on that stuff, I understand. We try to get you a Chromebook if you don't already have one. Okay, man, you're doing great. Thanks for all your hard work. Oh, I got to change your score here, brother. What can I, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go up here. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Let me see here. 
you got two out of five, I will give you five out of five because I think you're a genius. You know that word genius? Henius. Okay. Thanks, man. Great talking to you. Bye.